Hey, 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 hey. Mm. Hey, Siri. How many days until August 16th? It's seven days until then. The last week in Michigan. I got a tattoo. Psych, it's henna. 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 And. Henna! If you can see it. Um. I'm on my way to Walmart to buy some crates to pack. All I want to do is pack right now, but I'm only bringing like my clothes, bathroom stuff, like beauty stuff. It's like only things I use every single day. So I can't really pack for another like five days. I'm doing it last minute, but I am gonna go buy some crates at Walmart right now. Um, so yeah, the other night, uh, you guys should have seen me. You probably would, if you guys did see me, you probably wouldn't have been like, dang, like she's never getting back up again. Like she's done for, cause I was freaking out. I was just like so full of fear. And like, just so terrified about moving out to LA. Like, is this really where God's calling me? Like, yada, 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 whatever, whatever. Like, freaking out, freaking out, ah, that type of thing. And then, well, not in the end. I didn't just like end. That was a few nights in a row of me like just freaking out. And then, not and then, jeez. Um, <laughs> I finally went over to Emily's house uh, yesterday and her and I, finally got to talk for like the first time in like a week or two because she was camping. Emily's the one who is going with me to LA that like God called us both out there and we just talked and like you know finally got excited because we both went through the same thing. We were so scared to be excited and like God just spoke to both of us at different times. Like her was two weeks ago, mine was a few days ago where it was like it's okay to be excited. Like, you can be excited for this. This is something that is exciting. You're doing something new and adventurous with me. And like, you're gonna see new sides of me. You know I'm faithful. You know I will provide. Like, if your father tells you to, to if your father tells you he will provide, he will provide. Like, that whole type of thing. But I also binge read Acts. Well, I didn't binge read Acts. I only read like five chapters of Acts uh, yesterday. And one of the things I read was, if this plan is of human works, it will fail. But if it's of God's, like, it will not be overcome or not be overthrown. The plan will not be overthrown. And just hearing that completely, like, gave me peace. Because I was like, if Emily or I planned this and, like, like, oh, we're just going to go out to L.A. And, you know, let's <laughs> say it's from God. Like, whatever we try and do out there will fail. But, like, knowing neither of us made, could have made this idea up like moving to California was nowhere near on our radar it wasn't even on the list of places we wanted to move well maybe a little bit for Emily because she likes cities but like me it wasn't even an option <laughs> and so like knowing that this is something I could never make up gives me peace that it is God's plan and if it's not you know if it's not where he wants me to be he'll let it be known and he makes everything beautiful in his time and yeah, all that type of stuff. So now I'm actually excited for the trip and I want to start trip, I need to stop calling it a trip. I am excited for the trip because my brother's driving out there with me and you know, he's gonna be in LA for like a week, just over a week and then fly home. So it'll be fun to do like one last uh, brother sister thing with him. So now I'm actually excited, like I haven't, had joy or had excitement about this since it was just an idea and then now it was reality and all I was was scared but now like 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 sorry freaking I hate saying like all the time but now like I'm actually excited I'm really excited and Emily is too now and we're both at this place where it's like God said he'd provide he's faithful and now we're just along on the adventure with him. And it's gonna be good. So going to Walmart to get some great crates, 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 and see how everything fits. And praying that I'll have enough room to put one or two pieces of furniture in my car to take with me. Yeah. Hey there. <coughs> you know, 
I don't really know how to vlog when I like my quiet time with the Lord and when I'm doing stuff I like to be in the moment so I don't really know where that fits along on uh, vlogging but um, it is now August 11th I don't know the last day I vlogged it was a couple days ago but I just want to show y'all um, so this is the wall right next to uh, my bed and my nightstand but this is a read the bible in a year I started that August 9th 2020 so should be done but as you can see um, <laughs> I might have missed a few weeks in there especially the weeks where before I knew how to sustain my fire for God there was definitely like some weeks there when I didn't really know how to battle like spiritual warfare and like fatigue and self-discipline. I'm still working on the self-discipline, but um, I'm aware of it now and I can fight it. Super pretty um, lightning and thunder, but a friend of mine from my young adults group I go on Thursday so which tomorrow is Thursday so it'll be my last time at the young adults group for god knows how long and it'll be really sad because that place changed my life but a girl from there posted on her Instagram story if you miss one day don't miss two and that kind of changed my life so here's a mug shot of Frank Sinatra on a lighter and you can see the lightning Here's to three days left in Michigan. For the past like five or six weeks, me and two friends, Payne and Mel, have been meeting up to do a Bible study. So it's been a huge part of my summer, just once a week, us three meeting up at Foster Coffee and having a Bible study. And <sighs> today's our last one. At least it's the last one with me. They were the two who invited me in. <laughs> um, but it's my last one before I leave. So I'll let you know if I get emotional or not. But I feel like I already cried ahead of time that I won't when I'm with them. But we never know. So like I said, today's Thursday. I had my coffee shop bible study with Peyton and Mel and I got Mel got me a little record and a mirror and a ring and she made me matcha brownies so good um so I had the last bible study and it reminded me of the last supper so kind of joked about that got to say bye to them um but now tonight I have my last young adults church group in Lansing and that's gonna be really sad uh, that's one of the hardest things I'm leaving I think I said that before but then Friday and Saturday those are my days to start packing so I've been doing laundry cleaning my room getting rid of stuff bought some bins and stuff to pack with and packing I think is what's gonna make it it's gonna make it start to feel real when I pack all my stuff up and put it in my car since I'm mostly taking clothes and stuff. I've been waiting to pack. So I like have my suitcase in here, I clean my room, and I'm about to eat some Chinese from Lotus Room. I don't know if that's a chain or if it's just a local place, but it is the best Chinese food you'll ever have. So it's getting close. It's getting close. Yeah, I just had such a life giving conversation like fellowship is a blessing and a gift from god no doubt in my mind dude god's stirring something in cali and you guys are along for the ride tomorrow i officially start packing <laughs> I wanted to show y'all my room before I started packing 
but now it's kind of a mess. But I wanted to show a before and after of my room, so. <laughs> oh my word, okay, whatever. I'll just show y'all. It's a mess because I just started packing, so everything I wanna, well not everything, I'm not even a quarter away done, but. All right, nightstand. Um, it's usually super clean and super cute. Bed, <laughs> usually super clean, super cute. This area, it's usually has these plants, but I was catching frogs in my egress window. So I was using a stool and I want my plants to get sunlight. So everything is just out of place right now. It's kind of frustrating. Like this never looks like that. That's never there. It's always tucked in there. Like cute decorations. This has been here for like five years. Um, here's an overview of that half of the room. Got stuff on the floor. I'm organizing my mirror that I'm obsessed with. Uh, this chair I got for free. This fig tree that I'm obsessed with. Um, my wallet. This area of my room, which is all, just normally look like this. My green wall, which, yeah, I, I'll show you all my closet. I've been working on it, so it's also messy. But people who are vlogging never show their closet. It's more of a storage room, because I think I've said it before, uh, this room didn't have a closet in it. So there's like a closet. Um, everything is just all over the place, like pants. This dresser barely has anything in it anyways, and just stuff, just stuff everywhere. I'm packing, and honestly, I'm really enjoying packing. I'm excited to do this all day. It's like only 1.52, so thinking I'm, I'm gonna pack a bag for the next five days, just things I need for the next five days in this suitcase, I'm out of breath. So I could pack up all my clothes and put them in my car without having to worry about what I'm going to wear for the next two days. So I'm just going to pack a suitcase, not just for the road, but for Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh my word, I get there Wednesday. Holy cow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm going to continue packing. I'm like, I, I don't know if I posted or uh, said this, but for a long time I was so terrified and now I like, that joy in the Lord about this move because it is exciting. And he just kind of gave me permission on my way to when I was skydiving. He was like, it's okay to be excited. Or no, he said, you're allowed to be excited. So he's just been really building that up. And so now I'm excited to go into something completely unknown with no idea or expectations of what's gonna happen. I live in the basement. Well, I am exhausted. I didn't get much packing done. I mean, I cleaned out, got rid of a bunch of stuff, but I just deep cleaned my car for like two and a half hours. I vacuumed everything, wiped down, dusted. Probably wasn't two and a half hours. I don't really know what time it is, but I just ate. I'm really feeling a nap. But I shouldn't because I want to keep packing. There's so much I want to take. Three miles away from me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so like a 15 minute drive. I'm in so many It's August 13th. It's Friday the 13th. We was at a different one. We almost died for real, Eddie. Eddie, we're gonna miss you so much. Hopefully next time I get on your camera my skin is clear. Cause for real. Back up. Back up. Well, Eddie, this is crazy. Like, no, these grown from 17,000 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. This is Eddie's room. Eddie, watch this video. We will miss your home. Oh my god. You're gonna have to still come over when I'm gone. It won't be the same. Right. Come see Sean and Aiden. Right. He don't, he don't even like us for real. He just yeah. saying, hey. It's pink outside. What the heck? <laughs> Say, hey, future Eddie. Hey, hey LA Eddie. Hey, LA Eddie. Say hey, LA Eddie. Hey, LA Eddie. We're just chilling at home. Your last three nights at home. Stop. Now you're chilling in. Eddie, your skin is so clear. Cement. Oh my god. Cement. Can we? Cement city. look how she look on the camera. Your skin your is so clear. Ding. How many boyfriends you got? Yeah.
right. Let me find out. Um, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> this is like you gonna watch this and and big tears. I'm like, oh my god. They really need to just walk up in my house without asking. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Hi, I'm Paul. Um, I just wanted to flex my outfit really quick because of the price. <clears throat> Shoes were for free. My neighbor gave them pants. For free, Emily, the one who's moving with me, gave them to me. Shirt, five dollars. Bought it off a friend. Hair tie, uh, probably five cents. Glasses, insurance covered like forty percent of them. That's all I'm gonna say. We are packing. Room is being packed up. Time to get a new battery because it's yelling at me. I just today's Sunday now. It's August. 15th Tomorrow morning is the day I leave and today's so Sunday, so I just went to my last church Service at the church. I grew up in I've been going to the same church my entire life and so I just went to my last one and I had to say goodbye to one of my best friends Noelle. It was so sad um, She changed my life. She's also Emily's younger sister but it's weird to say younger because her and I, Noel and I are literally two weeks apart in age. So, yeah, I had to say goodbye to her. It was really sad. And so, now it's my last day. My whole car is basically packed up. I just have a few more things like a jewelry box and then the suitcase that I've been living out of for the past two days and will be for the next three days. <sighs> it's happening. 